Hello, I'm Ray DiCecco, Sales Manager with General Air Products. What I'd like to do today is, is go over pressure switches and adjustment of the pressure switch. What we have here is our three most common switches. This one is for our oilless riser and tank mount, our lubricated tank mount, and our air maintenance device. The first thing I'd like to point out is that all of our switches have an orange warning sticker on there that says do not adjust, may void warranty, and then it gives our phone number. The purpose of this is just to avoid having people go right into the switch and start turning these screws because they're all preset and if you start turning the screws the wrong way and they get out of adjustment it can be very difficult to get back into adjustment. So that's one of the things we're going to go over here and the first switch we're going to look at is the Condor switch MDR11 our part number SWP 60401U and as you can see inside the cover it does have an instruction on how to adjust. These switches come factory set from us 27 PSI on 40 off. The riser mounted compressors are good up to 50 pounds so if you need to adjust this the screw that you're going to look to adjust is this one that sits up top here. Again, it'll be in the instructions or you can call us. As you'll see, there's an adhesive on there. That adhesive is put on, is required to be put on there by UL. We have to factory set and test them here at 27 on, 40 off. But if you need to adjust it, this is called the range screw. And what that does is that will raise both the cut-in and cut-out pressure on this switch. The riser mounted units can be difficult when adjusting them because normally what you're looking at when you're raising this adjustment is the system gauge. So what you want to do is maybe give it one or two turns clockwise and then you're going to have to wait and see how it reads on your system gauge. It's another reason why we recommend half inch minimum of half inch piping because if you get restriction in that line going up to the gauge what you're seeing up there may not be what the pressure switch is actually reading in a line. Again if you run into some of this call us. That's what we're here for. Second switch we're going to look at is the Condor MDR3 it's so our part number SWP 60113-C. This is used on all our lubricated tank mounted units. It comes factory set 30 on, 40 off. Again, if you want to adjust it, inside there is an adjustment procedure. If not, this, this again has two screws. It has the range screw and it has a differential screw. And the differential screw is, is the difference between the cut in and cut out. We have that differential at 10 pounds. It's set 30, 40. So if you want to raise it, what you're going to do is turn the, the, the range screw clockwise. That will raise both your cut in and cut out pressure. If on the tank mounted unit you want a larger differential, then you would turn the differential screw clockwise. That raises the cut out pressure but leaves the cut in pressure the same. Tank mounted units are a lot easier to adjust because you have the gauge right on the tank so you're getting a true reading of what the pressure switch is seeing. The third unit is a Hubble 69HAU3. Uh, this is used on our air maintenance device. Again, the instructions inside the cover. This comes factory set at 30 on and 40 off. 
This is used in conjunction with our base mounted lubricated units. And if you need to adjust with this one, again there's a center screw here that will have increase and decrease. You turn that screw clockwise that raises both the cut in and cut out. If you need to change the differential, the differential screw is the small screw over here. Where our recommendation is, if you don't have to, don't adjust the differential, especially on the oilless units. If you need to adjust it, call us and let's go over exactly what your needs are so that we can help you do it right. Uh, for more information on this, please visit our website, www.generalairproducts.com. Go into accessories. We have, a, we have full procedures on how to adjust these switches. Um, you can also contact us at 800-345-8207. Anybody in our technical department would be glad to help you out. Thank you.